advisor welcome to for ux myself nimesh today let's learn how to install snort in uh, centos 7 environment uh, snort is a open source free uh, network intruder detection system as well as a intruder prevention system which is created by source for uh, source fire and now it is developed by Cisco, uh, which is purchased uh, Sourcewire in 2013. When we analyze IDS and IPS, which is intruder detection system as well as uh, intruder prevention system, uh, those lies behind the firewall uh, to monitor the traffic flowing through the network and alert as per the rules uh, uh, given to them. IDS merely uh, did, uh, do the passive role which uh, uh, monitors the traffic and alerts when it is there. However, IPS, which is into a prevention system, other than the alerting, they will execute uh, rules in order to prevent such attacks as per the rules. So, in this tutorial, we will mainly focus on installation part of SNOT in CentOS 7 environment. In the next video, we will learn how to write rules, customized rules, based on different scenarios in it's not an environment in CentOS 7. So let's begin. Open the terminal. Then I'll uh, change my uh, mode to uh, super mode. And I enter my password. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, update the uh, EPL uh, release uh, uh, for the uh, CentOS uh, that is a uh, uh, yum uh, install EPL minus release and uh, I'll put uh, minus y as well and uh, based on the internet connection the uh, update time depends right uh, in my case uh, it is uh, done then i'll clean the screen for you uh, then uh, uh, the next step is we need to make sure some additional packages uh, to support this not installation most of the time we miss this uh, uh, miss these uh, additional packages so that we, we we come across with a lot of errors so first uh, we'll use this command that is rpm um, at, uh, the uh, package manager uh, to check whether the package is available q and sq way and we search for the package the package is in the first package we are searching with the gref the first package should be GCC and uh, if you get this kind of output then it means that the GCC is installed if you don't get any any uh, message then you better you install GCC or rather this package or, uh, or GCC using yum command so you'll take the next one the next one uh, I use the arrow up arrow key to get the early command then I want to check whether flex is uh, installed and uh, here I'm not getting any response which means that flex is not here so I use a yum command to install flex and uh, I put minus y as well so the flex is installing All right it's uh, getting installed and uh, this is also depends on uh, yeah, internet speed and uh, my one already uh yes installing yes done, done yes done so what i'm going to do is i'll uh, run the same command that is uh, direct and i'll get an output like this so now the flex is also there the next com next uh, package i want to check is a uh, bison so let me check the bison and uh, it seems bison also not available in my system so what i'm going to do is i will install bison as well using yum command 
and uh, this is I'm installing Bison. And you can, as you know, you can always uh, get previous commands using our arrow key. Okay, Bison is also done. Now let me check again whether Bison is available now. Yes, we are good to go. Bison is available. Next, the next one is uh, I want to check is uh, uh, S uh, C lib. Uh, and uh, when you check this C lib package, uh, our, our, our now system it is already available. And the final package we want is a uh, libdnet uh, devil package. libdnet and devil. So all these packages uh, is required to a uh, proper installation of Snort. And you can get all this information from the Snort documentation. And uh, it seems uh, it is also this package also not available in my system. So I need to install that. So it's yum install lib d net minus down. And uh, it's getting installed. Oops. I think something I have made a mistake here. I added uh, and should be uh, uh, the uh, and uh, the minus uh, the e is missing i guess here yeah, um yes it's uh installed very good now let me uh, check again whether it is properly there voila oops um, yes it's there well we are good to go and uh, I think it was there in the early. Uh, I think I made a. I didn't put E here. That's why it's not uh, properly uh, uh, shown here. But of that's okay. We have installed uh, the version here, so we are good to go. We have installed the additional packages, and we'll move with the install installation. So for the installation of Snort, you need uh, to. Uh, and now I open the uh, uh, web browser in my host, and you can see I'm uh, I visited to snort.org and. Uh, if you go there, this is the home page, and this is uh, the fresh package, the latest uh, package that you can use uh, for installation of Snort. And this is one, this is I'm using CentOS so that I get the latest RPM. And what I'm going to do is I paste it here and start installing. And uh, it will take a couple of seconds uh, depending on your uh, uh, internet speed. And uh, and uh, my one is downloading and uh, asking me for permission. It's a 20M package. So I say, okay, proceed. You can see the 20M. And again, asking me permission. Okay, I'm giving. All right, now it's installing uh, and uh, verifying. Good, we are good to go. We have installed it. It's not officially. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I will check, uh, I will uh, first update the shared libraries here. Uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is ld config is the command that we need to use. So when you use it, uh, we should not get any errors, which means I have uh, I have uh, uh, updated the uh, shared libraries uh, while this installation. And then let me check whether it's not is properly installed via minus v, and you will get an error. Normally you will get error. This is because uh, the libd net uh, has not been properly. Uh, 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 loaded to shared uh, folder, so we'll uh, link that using this particular command, which means minus s slash user slash lib64 library64 and uh, it's lib dnet and dot so dot one zero one actually it's one dot 0 0.1 All right, so this version has to be go there to use uh, lib 64 and lib d net dot one. So let me check it again minus s slash user lib 64 lib d net dot so dot one dot zero dot one slash uh, space user sixty four with dot one. So let's me run the command. Okay, if you run this command, you should not get any error, uh, errors here. 
and uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do is I will uh, run the previous command again so this is uh, if you get this kind of uh, uh, success message which means you have successfully installed snort in your CentOS but still we haven't configured this not uh, properly so we we'll need another couple of minutes to do it so I'll control C it and uh, you'll get this message so now you get this message which means you have successfully installed the snort okay I'll clear the screen for you then I'm, what I'm going to do is I will do uh, I will first um, create a couple of uh, uh, directories uh, in order to uh, run the uh, snort configuration the first one is mkdir mk sorry mkdir uh, then i'll create a directory which is called slash etc snort and the rules and the second one is mk uh, the same i'll update that directory and that one that should be slash var slash var and the log oops log and the slash snort um and i think this file already uh, this uh, this uh, this message we get because uh, we use yum command in order to install snort uh, of course you can use uh, from the uh, source code method so since we use yum command this snort uh, directory already been uh, created that's why we get this message that don't worry that's only a problem and for the IR again we are using slash user slash local slash library and we need to create this one it's not underscore we need to create snort underscore and should be dynamic rules should be dynamic dynamic rules so that is also done so we have created a couple of three uh, for directories the rules and the uh, log uh, the snort as well as the dynamic rules the next one is uh, we need to give permission to these new directories the first one would be um so i will uh, clear the screen so that you can have a nice idea ch mod plus minus actually minus uh, r uh, which is a recursive one and uh, i use this one five seven five five and uh, slash etc slash snout done Second one would be the uh, raw and uh, log slash note. Very good. The third one would be uh, user local uh, lib and snout and dynamic rules. Okay, we have given there. And there's a uh, we have given that to command and uh, then uh, we need to uh, add uh, create the use at uh, at this uh, snort one and dynamic one to the uh, group uh, of uh, snort to do that what you're going to do is ch own ch own uh, minus r snort colon snort and uh, slash uh, and uh, slash log slash snort right this first one the second one would be here user local live and it's not uh, rules and we are given that as well very good now uh, before moving to final step, we need to create a couple of other rule files. Uh, the rule files are we can create using touch command touch slash tdc slash note and uh, under the rules directory we need to create three rules. The first one is white list dot rules. A white list rules. Then we should have black, of course, black twist rules. The main categories and finally the one that we obviously uh, we uh, use our customization rules that is called 
local rules. Okay, now we are going to go uh, for the uh, what do you call configuration of uh, configuration for change of snort. For that, I'll clean the screen. Then I'll use gedit command then slash etc slash snort and snort.configuration file. When you open the file, uh, it's something like this, and uh, you can go for uh, numbering. Then uh, first, you need to set the the network that we are going to uh, cover from this. So here, I'll be covering the uh, network of um, here, the 45. Uh, let me uh, open another tab and check. All right. What is my home net? I have config, it is a 1.105. So, what I'm going to do is I will come here, I will set this home network as 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Okay, this entire network I'm going to uh, cover. So, this is an NIDS uh, level implementation. Then I need to go uh, for the uh, number. 104 which says that uh, etc slash not rules which is correct so i'll save this i'll actually copy this thing then i need to set the path of uh, white rules and um, uh, blacklist rules here uh, the same path as uh, the uh, local rules also there at 104 and uh, the next one is i uh, very important thing a lot of people stop the a uh, lot of uh, internet uh, references they uh, simply say only those couple of things but uh, most of the time you get errors while you are running the configuration file that is due to that is the one reason because in the configuration file default there are a couple of rules i mean a lot of rules are here from uh, 458 to 658 or more than 100 rules so uh, uh, nearly 100 rules so because of the, these but unfortunately none of these rules are created in the uh, snort directory that's why you get errors so what you do is you can select these uh, four uh five one two uh, uh four five eight six five under six four uh, four five eight actually four five eight here and six five one is more than 100 uh, rules and uh, what you need to do is you just simply delete them but you have to keep this rule only this is uh, this says that use all this uh, local rules uh, directory and the rule file local rule file in order to check for the uh, rules so we save it and seems uh, we have done with the configuration now let me uh, clear this thing and the final uh, command that is compiling there is not rule is not uh, configuration and uh, let's see uh, whether it's working and minus C and uh, for the directory where it is writing slash edc slash node com. Mm, voila, it's successfully configured. And if you get this successful message, which means you have successfully configured, installed and configured, it's not in sent OS 7. In this tutorial, we learned how to install snort in CentOS 7 in our month. In the next video, we will study how to write rules in is not environment. I hope you have learned something out of this video. If you learned something, please do like and share. If you want to know future such videos, please do subscribe to us. Till we meet again, have a nice time. Thank you.